guess one of the most important things about the electric vehicle is to determine how much they're costing you to operate per mile. So I bought a um, little kilowatt meter. Uh, kilowatt, uh, the name kilowatt makes uh, a brand. This is a, a WAN, what, no it's WAMP kilowatt meter and the way it works is when you turn it on it uh, I reset the thing right now right now see it it measures measures the line voltage the power consumption it's got the power ratio you never don't really need that for this uh, job but then uh, then this is electric consumed kilowatt hours and here you're back to the uh, fold line voltage. Now an electric vehicle it's important when you bring it back in the first thing you want to do is uh, plug the unit in. Uh, they call it an opportune charge so what you want to do is on mine the power outlets here underneath the rider seat so plug the 110 volt line into here and then it's plugged into the power meter so I have mine on a strip just for convenience of turning it on and off so I had reset the power meter here to zero. When you turn it on, it will start measuring the kilowatts consumed. As you see there, I've got it on the kilowatts consumed, and it's running up here. Now if you step through the different modes that it has available, its uh, line voltage is 122 volts. power it's drawing 934 watts 931 watts and this is power consumption now on this meter here you can press the menu button and set up the number of cents that your kilowatt costs well here on where we're at uh, American Electric Power charges me 12 cents a kilowatt on the average depending on the consumption so I've got this set up for 12 cents per kilowatt so as I charge the battery this will tell me the number of cents of electricity that it takes to charge the unit. Of course the next step it's uh, this is showing me the consumption see I've had it on now for uh, a little over a minute see it's already consumed two, two uh, one hundredths of a kilowatt so when I plug this in, generally after a 9 or 10 mile run, it will take about 2 hours for it to charge if, if I run it down to around 20% charge. And as you can see, the charge light indicator is red. Now on a, a gym car with the uh, Zevon charger, uh, it'll start out at... Um, if if your charge is less than 80 percent it'll come on with a solid red light then as it charges up to 80 percent it'll start flashing red then as it comes up to 90 percent charge the light will turn yellow and then when you come up to a full charge 100 percent the light will be green and that indicates that uh, the batteries are fully charged and uh, it will also shut the charger off at that point. These kilowatt meters, uh, they're available. The, the best two places I found to find, uh, find these or buy these at a reasonable price is either on as Amazon or um, uh, Merit Line. Uh, you can buy these including shipping on Merit Line at times for around $15. Uh, I bought this one off of Amazon 
and it's made by WAMF, W-A-N-F, and uh, it cost me, I think, $15, including shipping. Uh, this one has got, will fit the European plug, and you can get these for either 110 or 220 charging. So it would be versatile, versatile to several different kinds of uh, chargers for different vehicles. Um, I found though that this works good. It accumulates, it accumulates the uh, kilowatt hours and shows you that, and also tells you the uh, cost of the charge. So the thing that's good about these is that see, with me plugging the charger into the meter you're actually getting the total cost of the electricity that is running or that is uh, running the car because this uh, includes the loss any loss that your charger would have and any uh, any loss that uh, your batteries would have when you take it out for a drive so basically I've taken it out for a drive and um, put you know say 10 miles on there so what I'll do is hook this up and let the car charge uh, and when it gets done uh, it'll tell me the uh, number of kilowatts that I it took to charge it so I divide the miles uh, into the kilowatts and that tells me exactly how many kilowatts per mile it costs to run the car plus since this calculates the number of cents of electricity that it uses I can also convert it directly by dividing the miles into the uh, number of cents on the meter there and that will t give me the direct pennies per mile cost of electricity to drive the car so what I'm going to do is let this let the car charge for the next couple of hours and we'll get, take a couple readings as it goes so that you can see how the meter works and how the charge charging system on the car is reflected on here. Well, it's been about an hour and a half, and uh, the chargers brought the batteries up to uh, their 90 percent because the light is yellow. And let's look over here and see what kind of progress we're getting on the watt kilowatt meter. There we go. All right, so uh, this meter displays the whole kilowatts and in the fraction of kilowatts. So it's charged 1.4069 kilowatt hours. There's the uh, there's a line voltage, 124 volts, and uh, let's see, we don't need that reading, and see the now we're only charging at 149, 100, 449 watts, so see the chargers cut back its power, charging power, and so far, we've, it says we've used 16 cents electricity, which pretty well equates to about 1.4 kilowatts, being electricity is 12 cents a kilowatt. So everything is pretty well adding up at this point in time. Yeah, right there, see it says it's been charging for an hour and 46 minutes. So, we'll wait until the thing's charged and see... Uh, how the progress is going. Okay, we got a green light which means the battery is charged. So if we go over here to the meter, the watt meter, and it says that we've put uh, 1.72 kilowatts into the kilowatt hours into the battery. See the voltage is back up to 125, so we're not unload, we're not loading it any longer. And 
the battery charger's got a idling power draw of 3.1 watts. It costs 20 cents to charge the battery this time. Which of course agrees with 1.72 kilowatts at 20 cents a kilowatt hour. So this time I drove approximately seven miles. So if you divide seven miles into 20 cents you're talking right a little under three cents a three cents a mile. Um, I probably would get a little bit better mileage because the battery was cold when I last charged it so whenever you charge a lead acid battery when it's cold the battery doesn't take up as much charge therefore it, it doesn't deliver as much charge uh, per per unit of usage I guess so um, typically these cars will get uh, oh between I'd say three and six or seven miles to a kilowatt uh, just depending on the uh, temperature of the batteries so you know on a 40 or 50 degree day why you're going to be down in the probably three or four miles to a kilowatt and then on a 80 degree day you'll probably the batteries will provide more like a five or six miles uh, to a kilowatt hour so that's very favorable I think the uh, General General Motors Volt gets around uh, three about three miles to a kilowatt hour and the uh, Toyota Leaf is about in that ballpark so uh, when when uh, these cars were checked by, I think there was Consumer Report. Anyway, um, they they said they get about five miles to a kilowatt hour, uh, and that's uh, that pretty well agrees with my figure. So I've probably given you more data here than you really want, but uh, this is sort of what you can expect. I think it's sort of fun to keep track of how how much the car uses and uh, so when you uh, figure in the low maintenance cost there's virtually the only the only real maintenance that you do to the car is water the batteries and uh, the, the major cost would be to replace the batteries and uh, that is the that is the major cost uh, the rest of it uh, maintenance and uh, and uh, providing the electricity for the car is uh, a minor point of uh, cost for the car. So that is, that, that's the way it is.